For several days, Palau has experienced excessive rain, strong winds, and, and high surf, all as a result of a tropical storm nearby. This current weather condition is causing problems from string of power outages to floods, mudslides, and even overflowing sewer systems. The road leading up to Aimalik Power Plant collapsed during the past weekend due to excessive rain. The collapsed area is now exposing a water pipe that services the plant. PPUC personnel have been working to construct a temporary bridge and to find other solutions to prevent the pipe from breaking. Numerous power outages all around Palau were due to power line interferences from trees and debris. Some outages lasted for a few minutes while others lasted for a few hours. Sewer systems were overflowing for days as it takes in excessive amounts of water from heavy rain, releasing bad odor and contaminated water to surrounding areas. By Thursday, June 23rd, the sky began clearing up, giving the sun the opportunity to shine. At the beginning of the week, the National Emergency Management Office issued a small craft advisory for all voters to take precautionary measures and was later upgraded to a warning which prohibited any travel to and from outlying states. Since the weather condition is clearing up a little bit here in Palau, the National Emergency Management Office has taken down the flag, the small craft warning flag, but the high surf advisory is still in effect. There's no need for raincoats or umbrellas today, but the weather condition is always unpredictable. Although this was a minor storm, one question remains. How will Palau respond in an event of a major tropical storm or typhoon? Stay with OTV and keep current and updated on Palau's weather condition. Rolinda Jantin for OTV News.